Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I wanna to talk to you about trauma bonding and your twin flame journey. And sometimes they go together and sometimes people are wondering, are they just having traumas or are they on a twin flame journey? I'm Patricia McNeely and my channel is devoted to helping people with twin flames, ascension, and your journey. And my practitioners are prepared to help you and let's get started. So when it comes to trauma bonding, this is a term that that's being thrown around a lot. It's good when these things come into the vernacular in a way because it makes people more aware and they can become self-aware. They might be able to say, hey, that happened to me and really start to understand that they're not the only ones and that maybe there's solutions or at least other people who are aware of it and maybe there's help. Well, I'm here to tell you there is a lot of help because this is one of the major things that I've done through my Psyche Body session. And I'm gonna dig a little Little deep here. So traumas can be inflicted in various ways. They're not always inflicted in this life. And that's where the kicker is. Someone can meet someone and it's someone who has done them some nasty in, in another time and place and yet they can't understand why are they hooked into this person. This happens a lot with love relationships that go bad where somehow or other they just feel like they're locked in with this person and can never break free. They become afraid of them or other things come up such as domestic violence. Now, the relate the nature of the relationship frequently will come up during the process of uncovering what exactly is in the psyche, okay? And this is not psychology, so it's not of the mind. Believe it or not, the things of the mind tend to be a little bit lighter than the things of the psyche because a person can live with stuff for years, even function, until this is time for this to go. And then it will come up and it will derail the person's life. They will find that they have phobias. They will find that somehow the relationship is not what they thought it was and they feel trapped. So the worst types of trauma bonding are bonding with someone who actually has murdered them in another life. It is uh, a relationship where they have been kept as a hostage, kept as a love slave, a sex slave, something like this. These are relationships that really aren't a relationship and yet there is a bond there. What is the bond of? It's a blood bond. It is the stealing of someone's sexual energy and it is the stealing of someone's life and livelihood really because the nature of the relationship can be overseer. It can be someone who maybe was a spouse. It can be an honor killing because the person felt slighted. And there's all these things that are from various cultures and times that creep up because they're buried within people and then they pop up. What the person just feels is a trauma. Now, when a person is activated as a twin flame and they start becoming aware of the journey, that's the difference. That's where the soul wants to get those things out. That's when the soul will rip those people apart or force a divorce or let things really get out of hand so that the person pays attention to it. Sometimes the hints are very subtle and the person does not pick up on it. They try to rationalize it. They cannot detect forms of abuse. And there's a list of forms of abuse. They don't let you talk to your family. They start controlling you. They start hitting you. They're doing drugs. Now these things can happen for people even when they're not in a relationship with the person. That is one of the twin flame differences is that for twin flames, they will imagine that they are attached to someone and they're not. They get their life force back and the trauma needs to go. So they are not trauma bonded to that person anymore. They have been trauma bonded. And I'll give you another example. Uh, years ago, I saw a couple fighting in the street. Um, it was actually at the Chicago Air Show. And they were fighting so physically that nobody could intervene, even a police officer, to tear them apart from each other. They were intent on being the only ones to hurt each other. Now, they would fight anyone who tried to hurt that other person. If anyone had tried to hurt the person that they were with, they would have gone at them like a wild animal. That also is a trauma bond. That is a current trauma bond. What is the bond? It's blood. It's drawing each other's blood. It's control. That is not love. It's not even drama. That is, uh, that is actually the worst kind of trauma bonding is where someone has been so entrapped they cannot see the forest for the trees. It is very similar to Stockholm Syndrome in fact, that's another form of a trauma bond where people feel that they are beholden to someone who's holding them hostage or holding them and 
These are many, many people who do not realize that the prison that they're in. These are people who get a divorce and will go re-enslave themselves to the person who divorced them and make a, a worse situation for themselves than ever before. Why? Because they cannot use their light body resources to create another situation. And these are really dire situations. This is happening left and right all over the world. It's particularly gruesome for women. And yet, you know, this is not something that is easily over overcome, but there is now a modality to help people overcome them. When you talk about trauma bonding versus a twin flame journey, the twin flame journey is about love. It's about having a brand new light body that doesn't hold or accumulate those things. It won't let you. It will ease those people out of your life. They won't even be a blip on your radar. You will not be able to engage with them in increasing ways. And here's the weirdness of how it happens because it's really good weird. If they try, something happens happens their karma starts boomeranging back to them. Sometimes you can stay still and see people's karma boomeranging right back to them. And it's not that we wish it on them. It's just that they cannot perpetrate it on you anymore. Now, do you feel that you have deep stuff and somehow you cannot break free? Or maybe you were thinking maybe at one point, hey, is this my twin flame? But like more and more you get these increasing signs that maybe it's not. You feel things on your body and you know if you went to a psychologist, they would say you're crazy. You can't possibly feel these things. Look, your skin is okay. You have weird birthmarks that somehow feel to you they were a mortal wound from somewhere and you have no idea how. Have you been the collateral damage of someone else's perpetrations like war or adult children of alcoholics? Yes, that's true. Bond. You can like the person, but essentially what you're bonding over is damaged childhood. Now, I'm not knocking this. I'm saying that your soul even wants better for you than that because some of those people will still be karmic soulmates. They're just, they've endured the same karma as you. They had the same crappy parents or the same abandoned childhood or the same crappy childhood issues that are now becoming part of their post-traumatic stress disorder issue. And mutual issues does not equal a love or passion relationship. When you get rid of those things, that's when the love has the opportunity to get in there, to rise you up actually to the level of really true passion. Because when you experience passion, that someone is just so, you know, into you, that is a key difference. Not just that they understand you or they're sympathetic. Those things are really a key but there's much more. So there is much more about trauma bonding versus twin flames because in my opinion and in my experience of 15 years, twin flames are not people who want to linger in trauma bonding and nor do their souls. So if you need help with any of your situations, please reach out. I myself am a master teacher healer of the twin flame body and the integration of your brand new light body to help you prevent falling into those traps further. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe, and pass it along. Reach out to me with any questions and check the links below. Bye now.